Well, some local doctors are making it their goal to try to help save as many lives as possible in such a tragic event. They're going to schools to teach adults and students how to give immediate medical care in emergencies. Chris Jackman spoke with doctors who started the program, and Chris, it seems like the skills they're teaching can be used in many different medical situations. Yes, that's right, Tom. The program is called Stop the Bleed. UMC and LSU Health New Orleans, along with Tulane, partnered together for this project. The ultimate goal is to save lives, and these doctors believe kids also need to know how to save someone's life. Oh my God. The familiar sights from Florida of another deadly shooting rips through the hearts of physicians Rebecca Schroll and Jennifer Avegno. Watching tragedies like today move these local doctors to take action. They founded the local chapter of a program called Stop the Bleed. It's a national campaign that trains adults and kids on what to do in a life-threatening emergency. Here at UMC, we're the only trauma center in the area. We're one of the only level one trauma centers in the state, so we see the majority of patients that are injured and bleeding to death. When people are severely injured and bleeding to death, they can bleed to death in minutes, even before EMS can get here. So it's so, so important that people that are on the scene can react. The national program started after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in Connecticut six years ago in 2012. An analysis of that shooting found that at least five of the 25 or so children who were killed in that shooting might have been saved if someone in their school had known these very simple life-saving techniques. So far, they've taught these lessons in schools throughout our area. Kids learn skills such as putting a tourniquet on properly and how to put pressure on a wound. The doctors say the classes have empowered the kids by giving them the skills to make a difference if needed. They're very interested. They want to feel like they can do something in an event of an emergency. And I just hope that we can disseminate the skills throughout New Orleans so nobody feels powerless if they happen to come across someone who has an emergency. So far, organizers say they've reached around 1,500 people through their classes, which meets monthly. Their goal is to teach 15,000 people these life-saving skills in the metro area. Ton. Chris, thank you.